National Pilgrimage and Eucharistic Congress. We're very excited about it because it gives us an opportunity of doing what we are supposed to do, namely to support the parish priest and also to support the parishioners in the preparation of this event. And they're centering it in Liverpool, aimed at probably catechists, extraordinary ministers of the Eucharist, chaplains, RE teachers, to help them deepen their own faith in the Eucharist and be able to pass that on. I think the whole point of the Congress will be to try to deepen the faith of Catholics in the Eucharist, in the presence of the Lord, in the sense that I think that they're using the title I am the bread of life, so that this Eucharist is something that is essentially food, real food for the journey. And from the point of view of the Blessed Sacrament, the opportunity to sit in the presence of the living Lord, to come before the Lord, to be yourself in quiet, in a loving encounter with the one that you regard as your Lord. And on that, Edwina Gately, a laywoman, has written a very beautiful thing that you could pray. It's called, Let Your God Love You. It's very simple. And you could imagine praying this in front of the Blessed Sacrament. Be silent, be still, alone, empty, before your God. Say nothing, ask nothing. Be silent, be still. Let your God look upon you, that is all. God knows, God understands, God loves you with an enormous love and only wants to look upon you with that love. Quiet, still, be. Let your God love you. And that's a lovely example of simply sitting in the presence of the Lord. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to say anything. As she says, simply be there, sitting in the presence of the Beloved and let your God love you. I think it's lovely. <laughs>